You belong among the wildflowers You belong in a boat out at sea Sail away, kill off the hours You belong somewhere you feel free Run away, find you a lover Go away, somewhere all bright and new I have seen no other Who compares with you You belong among the wildflowers You belong in a boat out at sea You belong with your love on your arm You belong somewhere you feel free Run away, go find the lover Run away, let your heart be your guide You deserve the deepest of comfort You belong in that home by and by You belong among the wildflowers You belong somewhere close to me far away from your trouble and worries you belong somewhere you feel free you belong somewhere you feel
is the hardest part Every day you get one more yard You take it on faith, you take it to the heart The waiting is the hardest part There's a southern accent Where I come from The youngins call it country The Yankees call it dumb I got my own way of talking but everything is done with a southern accent where I come from. Now that drunk tank in Atlanta just a motel room to me I think I might go work Orlando If them orange groves don't freeze I got my own way of working but everything is run with a southern accent where I come from. But just a minute there. For just a minute, it was all so real For just a minute, she was standing there with me There's a dream I keep on having where my mama comes to me And kneels down over by the window And says a prayer for me I got my own way of praying but everything's begun with a southern accent where I come from. I got my own living 
But everything gets done With a southern accent Where I come hear me okay is it seemingly yeah. working the brothers seemingly working what is as you can see i'm here sitting here with richard and we're actually sitting in my old bedroom not at my parents house but at the house i lived in for a very long time before i moved so we're here because i'm here visiting family and I'm. This is my first time doing this show at the 5:30 hour rather than the 7:30 hour. So we're gonna do a good happy hour drink right now. Which I don't know. You know, people love mimosas and people love bellinis. So this is somewhere in that realm. We're using some prosecco because also. We are in a period of celebration. Tonight, Ooh. right now, is game one of the World Series, and my Dodgers are there. Oh, can't hear me very well. Let's turn me up. How's this? Is this a little bit better? I just turned up. All right. So, all right, and we're going to turn the AC off for a little while. That might help. So... Because my Dodgers are in the World Series right now, we are here for celebration. So we're going to do a kind of mimosa bellini treat, but instead of orange juice or peach, we are using ruby red grapefruit juice. So you're going to start with a little Prosecco. Or a lot of Prosecco. Yeah. You're going to start there. I'm going to do a dash of... This is ruby red grapefruit juice, like I said. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use a dash of that. And then I'm actually also topping it off with some pink grapefruit Perrier. Because who doesn't love that? Ooh. Ooh. And also, here's a rule of thumb. And I will say this for mimosas and any type of drink that deals with bubbles is this the drink should still be transparent if your mimosa is straight up orange it's not a mimosa that's orange juice with a little bit of champagne in it so i'm gonna yeah i don't i don't even care i'm off the rails right now so that here it is just a little bit of prosecco some ruby red grapefruit juice and i topped it off with a little bit of pink grapefruit perrier and you got yourself a nice little happy hour drink or Sunday morning, or whenever the Dodgers are in the World Series. Because you know what? That's where we are. So, cheers and go Dodgers.
Also, I am going to make one for Richard after this, I promise. I'm, I'm not being totally selfish here. <laughs> An embarrassment of Richard's for uh, Los Angeles sports right now. Thank you, I know. And I love you, so I'm okay. But the Bostonian to me is just is violated. But I love you, so I feel, I, I'm happy for you. I will also say that let's not pretend that you yourself have not had some pretty pristine moments as far as a New England sports fan. Goes. Absolutely. No complaints. But, you know, it's like there is a thing to the old rivalries. There's something about you got to keep them alive a little bit, you know. Got to love it. But but we'll take what we can get. And also I will say that I, I, I have not forgotten what the Dodgers have done to us the last four seasons. So I, I'm, I'm going into this with, you know, really hoping for the best but expecting the worst here. I'm rooting for you, man. I mean, it's Tampa Bay, dude. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for all the Tampa fans, but we don't want the Rays to win. I mean, who does? We'd, we'd like to hear from all of you Tampa Bay fans out there. Let Jesse know what you think. Well, the thing is, if Tampa wins the World Series, they'll become like the new sports mecca because they just won the Stanley Cup, which is kind of would be kind of nuts for Tampa. to. Have, or, and the Bucs are pretty good this year, too. It's just... The world is tilting on its axis, ladies and gentlemen. What can I say? <laughs> wow. Well, how does it feel? To, how's the 5.30 hour uh, d- doing the show it's so early over there, Jesse? Man, it's uh, it's interesting having the sun still out. But you know what? It's uh, it's enjoyable, and it's very nice to be sitting here with uh, Richard. And actually, you can't see him, but Doug, my best friend and one of my oldest friends in the world, is just off camera right here watching the show <laughs> hey doug doug come say hi man <laughs> doug will you please come in here for a second man doug i saw last night i saw the hardy har uh live moment on instagram you guys were crushing it it was awesome you guys miss y'all so if at any point our internet seems like we're going slow it's because doug's trying to watch the good time stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh man He's getting getting those numbers up, up, up. Thanks. Well, Jake. Doug's been a, Doug's been an active uh, chatter lately. I've been seeing I've been seeing his name popping up. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. He's, he's a frequenter of the Good Time Supper Club. Good boy. Love good it. boy. Awesome. So what's uh what's going on tonight, Gordy? What do we what do we hear? What are we doing? Well, I mean, come on, it's Tom Petty's seventieth birthday. Would have been his seventieth birthday, and uh, I think it's only right. To, uh, to dedicate tonight to Tom Petty and to bask in the greatness of all of his songs. What do y'all think? You Love know, it. why not? We're off to a good start. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> man, so many, so many good memories. I, I have to share, uh, when, I, when I was singing that last tune, uh, Southern Accents, all I could think about was when we were on the uh, Kayamo cruise, and um, uh, John, uh, John Paul White. John Paul, John Paul White. White. Yeah, he he did that tune, and I mean it was just Trev and and John Paul White on the on the pool deck. Uh, we did the, a tribute show. It was right after uh, Tom Petty passed, and and we were kind of the house band with a bunch of great guests. But man, that moment in particular was was a great one, and um, yeah. Man, lots of lots of good memories. Um, what else? Anything else going on? That dude can really sing, man. John Paul White. He has a nice voice. Truly, yeah. Truly, the- yeah. Um. All right. Well, uh, we uh, we do have. We, we, Ed and I have been doing the, the Lifeline tour, as, as you guys know. You may know about it, but it's the, the personal concerts we've been doing. And uh, are, do we have some November dates up there right now? We got some November. We got a few slots left. I think uh, we have next Friday, the 30th. There's a couple slots left there. And then we got some open dates in November. So check it out, bandaheathens.com slash book. I'll put that in the comments. You can check it out. But, uh, yeah, it's still going strong. We've been having a great time with it. Had some really good ones last weekend. So, uh Love to see some old friends. Come on, visit. Spend an hour with uh, with Gordy and me. Yeah, it's been a an awesome. Just all y'all support during this crazy season, crazy year has been incredible on Tuesday nights and in the personal concert. So, thank you for that. Uh, we do have there's some big news coming 
probably, I don't know when that's going to be announced. Maybe later this month, later this week. I don't yeah, know. I think, I think later this week. We might, later this might week. Be a, a text number or something. We'll figure out, see if we can figure out yeah, a yeah. that number. <laughs> We're implementing a text message connection with y'all, and uh, there, there'll be some, some big news coming in a couple of days. But uh, anyway, uh, sh- should we dive back into some Tom Petty songs? The water's warm, man. Dive in. All right. Feels good. All right. Here we go. Oh. All right. It was nearly summer, we sat on your roof Yeah, we smoked cigarettes and we stared at the moon And I showed you stars you never could see It couldn't have been that easy to forget about me Baby, time meant nothing and it seemed, things seemed real You could kiss like fire and you made me feel Like every word you said was meant to be Baby, couldn't have been that easy to forget about me Even the losers get Sometimes even the losers keep a little bit of pride. They get lucky Two cars parked on the overpass Rocks hit the water like a broken glass Should've known right then it was too good to last It's such a drag when you're living in the past Even the losers Get lucky sometimes Even the losers Keep a little bit of pride They get a lucky sometimes Even the losers Get lucky sometimes Even the losers Keep a little bit of pride They get a lucky sometimes a little bit of pride They get lucky sometimes Even the losers All right Well, uh, I th- is it time to go back to uh, to L.A. right now? Vinyl Richie, Vinyl Richie, yeah. Here we go. Are we on? Here we go. Hey, 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 y'all. How's everybody doing? Happy birthday, Tom Petty. Happy Jesse in Los Angeles day. Woo, woo, week. woo. Um, so it was kind of tough for me to pick um, a petty record to talk about, but um, I thought I'd just start in the beginning. I was close to doing Damn the Torpedoes, but felt like that was a little too obvious. So I chose uh, Tom Petty's 
debut, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers debut record, which is also self-titled. Um, it's got just a great fucking cover. I mean, so cool. <laughs> He's just got so much sass in that photo. Just, and the and the classic graphic. I yeah, mean. yeah. Introduction of the the timeless logo. Uh, and then the backside, we've got all the guys in the shot just looking glammed out. I don't know if y'all can see that well, but lots of great shots of the dudes. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the debut album from the band, released November 9th, 1976. Uh, this record uh, was put out on Shelter Records, and they did they did it at Shelter Studio in L.A. And it was produced by Denny Cordell, who had previously had success with uh, Procol Harum's Wider Shade of Pale. Uh, he produced Joe Cocker's with a little help from my friends. Uh, he worked with the Moody Blues and uh, a lot of other British acts before he came over to the States and teamed up with Leon Russell, and they started Shelter Records. Um, we don't have to get too much in that, but the Shelter Records uh, story is pretty cool. Um, actually, a little tidbit, it's not on this record, because this is later, but Shelter Records, their initial logo was an S, um, like the Superman logo, and they there was a lawsuit from DC, so they had to change it. Um, but by the time this record came out in 76, uh, they had changed their logo to just a uh, an S with a circle around it. I don't know, you can't see yeah, that. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. But um, anyways, uh, there's a couple of singles on here. Uh, the first being Breakdown, which uh, was a top 40 hit in the States. And then the last track on the record is American Girl, uh, which didn't chart in the US, but it peaked at number 40 in the UK. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Breakdown was re-released as a single too later and also charted again. Uh, this record as a whole did not chart though. I don't. They didn't have um, a charting record until uh, their next one. You're gonna get it with uh, "Listen to Her Heart" um, as the single, but that record went gold. So, yeah. Um, is there a cool suit? No. So this one, this copy that I have uh, is a promo. It's got the cut here. Um, so it's a, a first pressing. You can find them online for 30, 40 bucks. Um, you should be seeing a link to buy any Petty record, which you should do if you don't have a Petty record actually in your collection. You should go to Waterloo Records right now and you can purchase a copy of any Petty record of your choosing. Uh, I would recommend any of them, I Honey. guess. <laughs> Damn the torpedo. Fever, damn yeah. the torpedo. I mean, also, there is the new Wildflowers collection, too. If you got an extra $199. $99 lying around. <laughs> pick up the new uh, box set of Wildflowers, which, if you've heard any tracks that have come out, really cool, like demos and early recordings and sketches of the songs. Um, but yeah, get yourself a Petty record. Listen to some Petty. Happy birthday, Tom. Uh, yeah, thanks, y'all. Go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. <laughs> Keep on Not, going. Actually, that's a, we are dealing with a Florida-LA situation right now, actually. Yeah. Tom Petty is also a perfect example of Florida, at Florida to LA here. That's true. Oh, that's another thing. If you haven't seen Running Down a Dream, the Tom Petty uh, three-hour documentary uh it's fantastic check that out and also there's a great classic albums on damn the torpedoes uh if you're familiar with the classic albums series so thanks fellas yeah i'm gonna uh i'm gonna move into another petty tune a different uh different record one of my favorite records it's kind of a sleeper record um i was talking to gordy about this we sort of um I kind of really started getting into Tom Petty uh, with his 90s records, um, Wildflowers, and um, and this one called She's the One, which is a soundtrack from a movie by Edward Burns. Um, he wanted to just, he wanted to get a song from Petty at the end of the record, at the end of his movie, and, uh, and Petty had this song Walls written for him. And I guess they had a meeting, and uh, he had like a, a couple more songs, and then I guess in the meeting, Edward Burns just had the thought. He's like, would, would you just want to do the whole soundtrack for the record? And we could sort of use 
different pieces of your songs as incidental music and, you know, just sort of weave the music into the story of the movie. So uh, that's what ended up happening. Uh, it's a really cool record. I think there's some sort of uh, some uh, stowovers from uh, from Wildflowers ended up on there. Um, some cool instrumental, cool instrumental piece by Ben Montench, cool uh, Lucinda Williams cover on the record. It's it's just a really cool record. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs. It's hard to pick a favorite, but um, this is one of my favorites. And this is uh, this is called Angel Dream. I dream of you. I saw your face Cut my lifeline When drifting through space Yeah, I saw an angel I saw my fate I can only thank God It was not too late Over mountains I floated away Across an ocean I dreamed her name I followed an angel Down to the gates I can only thank God it was not too late Sing a little song of loneliness Sing one to make me smile Another round for everyone I'm here for a little while Now I'm walking the street on my own But she's with me Everywhere I go Yeah, I found an angel I found my place I can only thank God It was not too late I can only thank God It was not too late I can only thank God It was not too late all right yeah nice man i i gotta say that um how amazing is it that uh that tom petty had that kind of second wave he had all his hits early on in his career then had some low points and then there's just this burst of creativity with with wildflowers, echo, she's the one, mm -hmm. um, even highway companion. I, it's just amazing to me. Um, that's kind of my favorite period of, of his, the, the kind of second wave. But yeah, love those records. That's what puts him up in the top class of of uh, you know the all time greatest artists. It's sort of uh, it's really hard to, to have one hit, and then it's even harder to have you know a period of success and it's almost impossible to do what he did i mean there's you know it's like a handful of people that have ever done that it's, it's really is it's a testament to his uh to his artistry and his commitment to the power of rock and roll i think you know he talks about it all the time it was really um that was really his um his spiritual place i think and he uh, he spent a lot of time there and we all got to benefit from it which is which was great yeah um Grateful Ted is asking, uh, raise your hand if you have a copy of the live 2013 Halloween Tom Petty set by the Band of Heathens. That, uh, one of our, my great memories, uh, occasionally we dive in and do a batch of cover tunes, whether it's Ray Charles or, um, or whatever, but, but one particular Halloween we, we dove into Damn the Torpedoes and, uh, and we dressed up for Halloween as Alice in Wonderland and um, I drew the short straw and uh, had to dress up like Alice 
but uh but it was fun whole new perspective it was a fun show yeah Mm. good times gnarly weather in nashville that night that's right that's right it was classic classic hey um what does it sound like is there anything that that anyone can hear from this week where we're all playing a tom petty song together oh um i don't know jesse did you have time to uh to throw together a video of of the remote transmission with all your crazy travels to la are we just not going to do it this week of course i did (laughs) of course i did oh yeah hit it boys lay it on him (laughs) lay it on him all right here we go fun it's awesome i love that song so much yeah trev dude what was that orange hat that was sweet orange hat yeah uh it's a uh it's my uh my walking hat i wear a hat when i walk in the morning <laughs> <laughs> very cool very yeah cool. man yeah you know because i bed head and i just get up and throw a hat on it and just 
Day in the life, man. Just... Day in the life, yeah. <laughs> man, um, <clears throat> I feel like without a guest this week, we've been honing our, our interview skills. We're trying to get better at interviewing people, which has been a, you know, it's been a little bit of a challenge. It's not our natural habitat. And oh, um, we've, been, we've been working at it. And this week we don't have an interview. We don't have a guest because we were just wanted to dedicate the show to Tom Petty. But uh, I was going to ask you guys if you had a favorite interview. Is there a, a, an interview that, that pops out in your mind as like one of the best ever? You talking about from this show or just in, just general? in general? No, like like the, any interview that you've been uh -huh. a part of, that we've been a part of. It doesn't have to be from, from the Good Time Supper Club. I can think of one specific one that I definitely think is the most memorable that I've ever been a part of for sure. Did did and, it happen did it happen in Asheville, North Carolina? Yeah, yeah, that one. Asheville, North Carolina. Should should we I think I might have found I went back into the archives and I might have found a clip of this interview. Yeah, please. Yeah. Please do that. So re regale everyone with that. Should we? So why not? I don't even know intro is necessary. Maybe you just well, need to play it. <laughs> Let's just say this guy did his homework. Like this guy knew side projects we were in. He knew all the records. He knew all the material. This like that's that's the the best thing about a good interview is when someone shows up. They did their homework, and they they know how to lead the conversation because they they know the background. It's much better than the like. So like, how long have you been a band? Or you know, it's like the like obviously no one did any homework. Um, Anyway, this guy was great, and uh, I just want to show. I, it's a 25-minute interview. We're not obvious. I'm just going to show a little clip. I'm going to pick a random spot in the middle here. Um, so let's just get here we go. Here we go. <laughs> see if I can find this thing. Uh, get on the bus. That's what it's called. We were on his bus. Okay, this is good. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Dartmouth. Okay. And then we moved to Austin together. So it's not like a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. We've just known each other a long time. We've known each other forever. Yeah. Um, and and you also are in uh, the Austin's local dead scene, right? Playing with Dead Eye, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Jeez, man, you're deep in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm startled. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, so, like, what's it? You know, like you guys also, and I think there's kind of a correlation here, right? You guys have worked as a backing band for Hayes Carl and a couple other musicians, and and then also, you know, you're over here playing this this great catalog of music from the Grateful Dead. Um, how is it different being able to kind of like wrap your lips around somebody else's song versus like creating your own thing? <laughs> Maybe not the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> I think he's gonna leave that in. I know. Like, like, I think he's so much. <laughs> Tomorrow there's gonna be all these like video clips of me on Facebook. What's it feel like to wrap your lips? I thought we were heading like oh, a job. I've been live tweeting the whole time. <laughs> oh man. That's oh, good. Gideon, can you punch the button on uh, the yeah. timer? Good. Just, that was like 30 seconds. Okay. Keep it up. <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> I think the best part about the whole interview is the full pan around the room with the camera. <laughs> he's just getting, he's getting the other guys on the crew's reaction. It's just so fantastic. I, totally I'm, throws him under the bus. It's great. I think it was him working to get the other guys as much as it was him laughing so hard that he had to turn around and forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, that's great. That's just a classic. Very classic. That was, that's the best. Best interview ever, maybe. Ever. Maybe. Ever. Yeah. And it uh, at least, definitely yeah. the best interview question, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we could top that. <laughs> Gauge interest. <laughs> it's a classic. Hey, um, speaking of classics, uh, Rich and Jesse, you guys, uh, you guys set to bust a classic out over there? Yeah, dude. Yeah. We're going to bust a classic out, I think. All right. I'm, you know? <clears throat> I feel like we have a pretty good theme to stick with here. <laughs> Prepared for the segment? <laughs> yeah. Should we do a petty tin? I think we're going to go ahead and try a petty tin here. 
let's ditch what we were gonna do before. <laughs> Cold but, cover, dude. Yeah, this one we're gonna try and wrap our lips around this Dom Petty song. <laughs> 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 All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um, one, two, three. can see Klaus enjoying himself over here but I think he certainly liked it Klaus looks like he liked it he certainly did nice well um man no fair you guys get to play in the same room play music together yeah dude come to LA come <laughs> I'll be right over yeah it's your turn um
All right. Um, I'm going to do uh, a less known Betty song, I think, that uh, is one of my favorites, and it was on the, uh, the Highway Companion record. And a uh, little known fact about this, uh, this record, uh, the artwork on the front cover of Highway Companion is a painting by an artist named Robert Daber. And um, the Petties were, uh, I think, big collectors of his work, or at least had a few pieces, and, and then he commissioned him to do that album cover. And um, he's also the same artist that painted the Swamp Gas painting that's on the, the cover of our, our first uh, album, which is kind of cool. You kind of see the stylistic similarities, but... Anyway, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, tunes from that, from that record here. All right. Headed back down south Gonna see my daddy's mistress Gonna buy back her forgiveness Pay off every witness One more time down south Sell the family headstones Drag a bag of dry bones Make good on my back loans So if I come to your door let me sleep on your floor I'll give you all I have and a little more Sleep laid down south Look up my former mentors I Live off Yankee winters Be a landlord and a renter Create myself down south Impress all the women Pretend I'm Samuel Clemens Wear seersucker and white linens Let me sleep to your door Let me sleep on your floor I'll give you all I have and a little more Spanish moss down south Find the heroes of my childhood Who now can do me no good Carve their names in the dogwood Chase a ghost down south The spirits cross the dead fields Mosquitoes hit the windshield all documents remain sealed So if I come to your door Let me sleep on your floor I'll give you all I have and a little more Give you all I have and a little more Yeah, love that one. Good one. All right. Bonus round. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to do one off of the Full Moon Fever record. Um, I, we're doing a good job. I didn't even, I don't know if we planned to do this, but we're hitting a pretty good, uh, pretty good swath of the Petty catalog here. Not just in numbers, but variety of albums. So uh, this was not really a huge hit, this one, I don't think. But um, I've always thought it's kind of a cool song and it's sort of, uh, I think Tom Petty had a really good sly sense of humor and this this song really incorporates it well. So here we go. <laughs> Save me I 
desire so bad Best thing I ever had In a world gone bad Fire so bad My sister's ex-husband Can't get no loving Walks around dog-faced and hurt Now he's got nothing Head in the oven Best thing I ever had in a world gone bad. Oh, you're so bad. But now, me, baby, I got you to save me. I hear so bad. You're the best thing I ever had. In a world gone bad. I hear so bad. I hear so bad. The best thing I ever had in a world gone mad. Oh, you're so bad. All right. Yeah, nice. Cool tune. They're all cool. It's crazy. Trev, how you doing, man? All right. Uh, I'm doing good. Dead Pick of the Week, July 4th, 1986. Significant for tonight's show, the Good Time Supper Club. It is a show where the Grateful Dead actually opened for Tom Petty. Uh, we're uh, up in Buffalo, New York, where the Bills play. Orchard Park, New York. Big old football field full of um, some very fortunate people. Because it was the Dead, followed by... The Dead for two sets, followed by... Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, followed by Bob Dylan, backed by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh, what an amazing concert that must have been. I think it rained a little bit, um, but the clip that hopefully will appear in your in the feed uh, for tonight is not the link to the actual recording, the tape, but it's a YouTube clip because uh, it was uh, Farm Aid, and they did a live feed, the first like three or four songs of the Dead's set, first set, or sorry, second set, was uh, simulcast everywhere for Farm Aid. So you get a, a look at the dead playing to a packed football stadium uh, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, they open with a rip in cold, cold rain and snow. And it sounds awesome. Band looks great. Um, Jerry's only a couple weeks away from a diabetic coma, though. Um, so things were touch and go for him, I'm sure. But uh, he was pretty much sober during 86. So he's very uh, energetic and looking around and very snappy. But uh, 
yeah, check out the video. It's cool. There's 10, I think, Leslie speakers on stage, which is something I always like about the mid 80s dead that they just stacked Leslie speakers everywhere around the stage. Um, I imagine that sounded pretty cool. But yeah, so anyway, check out the show. It's a great Dupree's. I was just playing a little bit of Dupree's Diamond Blues from the first set and a really cool Cold Rain and Snow to open the second set. Uh, yeah, July 4th, 1986. Check it out. Nice, Trev. I like that. The Grateful Dead, Tom Petty, Bob Dylan with Tom Petty. Yeah. Amazing. That's, they, and they took that whole show from reading Tom Petty's biography, the Warren Zanes book. That was when I think the whole tour, Sans Dead, but they went all over the U.S. and they did Europe as with the same configuration just dealing with the heartbreakers with you know tom petty would do his his show and then dylan would come out with uh, the heartbreakers backing him up must have been pretty cool yeah that that, that went on for like a couple of years because they had a few different incarnations i guess at one point uh, roger mcguinn was opening the shows too oh okay so which is just uh, just an awesome period there of dylan and petty collaborating and obviously the dead coming in for some stuff and just did they let him do two sets uh roger mcguinn yeah you <laughs> know i don't think so. i doubt it no i think he opened um and, but it was, it's cool you know there's obviously a lot of threads tying those three acts together which is kind of kind of cool on a lot of lots of levels and i guess it, i was actually uh i have this old like my old stereo system with the five five one surround sound and stuff and i hooked everything up this week and i it really sounds good i forgot listening to cds and stuff it actually sounds good and I watched the uh, I watched like disc two of the uh, Running Down a Dream documentary again, which is just so good. If you haven't seen that, uh, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, who's a great filmmaker to begin with, um, it's just an amazing documentary. And uh, all the guys in the band were really talking about how the the touring with Dylan reinvigorated them and really made them, you know, remember and realize how much they loved playing with each other. And uh, you know, it's interesting. It kind of sets the table really nicely for all for. Uh, kind of phase two of, of Petty's uh, career and so much of that amazing output that he had. So speaking of which, uh, you're going to be playing, uh, we're doing a little trading places folks, but <clears throat> this is a very inside trading places this week. We've, we have done a bunch of Petty tunes in the past between the, um, the Halloween show we did in Nashville several years ago to, uh, we did a Tom Petty tribute on the Kayamo cruise a few years back. Um, and then we've just peppered a few of his songs into our sets over the years. So Gordy is going to sing a Tom Petty song that I have typically sung in our set and vice versa. So uh, he's going to get started with one on the song Wildflowers, right? Yeah. You get a lot of strings to tune there. <laughs> and a capo. No, thanks. <laughs> well, I wasn't I wasn't going to play the guitar. And then when you said the. Uh, some threads that tie those guys together, and I oh, thought, yeah. hey, you know what? The 12-string guitar is one of the threads yeah. tying the sure. birds to Tom Petty, and I um, figured I'd grab it for this one. Cool. Seems appropriate. <clears throat> Get after it. So uh, one thing this week that I'm super excited about is uh, not using Pro Tools, and I'm only using the console and all the outboard gear, and the mics going straight into the the uh, the the streaming computer. That's a first for me. I finally figured out how to hook this stuff up to do that and use all the analog effects. So uh, I hope it's sounding good. I am having a blast. It's much more fun for me here. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Tonight we ride, right or wrong 
Tonight we sail on a radio song Rescue me, should I go down If I stay too long in the trouble of town Break me in two. You move me, honey. Yes, you do. Now and again, I get the feeling if I don't win, I ain't never break a even. Rescue me. Should I go wrong if I dig too deep? If I stay too long Oh, yeah You wreck me, baby Yeah, you break me in two But you move me, honey Yes, you do Be the boy in the corduroy pants. You be the girl at the high school dance. Run with me wherever I go. Just play dumb, whatever you know. You break me in two But you move me, honey Yes, you do You wreck me, baby Yeah, you break me in two But you move me, honey Yes, you do a good one love that apparently for for a long time that was titled you rock me he was struggling he was struggling with it it's like you know that the one word change in that song takes it from kind of being this cliched thing to being this like totally different super cool super cool thing so that's just kind of a another tip of the cap to his sort of uh great songwriting genius you know just kind of recognizing that and flipping the switch with. doing that so. i don't think i would have, i wouldn't have wanted to play that song if it was called you rock me <laughs> <laughs> apparently he didn't either <laughs> like an acdc song or something totally. i mean acdc doing it maybe totally. maybe all right um i'm gonna go uh back here to the uh Damn the Torpedoes record again. Kind of his first... I mean, well, he had some big hits before this record, but this was really his coming out party for sure. Um, so many classic tunes on this, and uh, here's another one. I'm going to try it. see how this goes. <laughs> We did something we both know we don't talk too much about it Ain't no real big secret all the same somehow we get around it Yeah, it don't really matter to me, babe You believe what you want to believe See, you don't have to live like a refugee Y'all sing it out there Somewhere, somehow, somebody must have kicked you around some 
Tell me why you want to lay there Revel in your abandon Honey, it don't make no difference to me, baby Everybody's had the fight to be free See, you don't have to live like a refugee Baby, we ain't the first I'm sure a lot of other lovers been burned Right now this seems to really you But it's one of those things you gotta feel to be true, yeah Somewhere, somehow, somebody must have kicked you around some Who knows, maybe you were kidnapped, tied up, taken away and held for ransom It don't really matter to me Everybody's had to fight to be free See, you don't have to live like a refugee Well, you don't have to live like a refugee Well, you don't have to live like a refugee You don't have to live like a refugee Man, uh, have to say, comment of the night that I've seen. What was it? Uh, David, I think it was a David. David Sauger, I believe, said that. Uh, should we should we do it, dude? <laughs> okay, I mean, listen, guys, I need to. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Oh. They, he said that they look like Jesse and Richard look like Beavis and Butthead. I, I'll do one better. You know what they actually look like right now? They look like John Lennon and Eric Clapton, probably on the cover of No Reason to Cry, circa 1976 or something like that. The lighting, <laughs> the whole vibe about it is kind of like I got to give my wife credit for that. She texts me they look like Eric Clapton and, and John Lennon. And that's totally I, I guys she way better it. than Beavis and Butthead. I think you guys are gonna you're gonna run with that one. Keisha wins. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, David Sauger. Pretty good Sauger. <laughs> pretty good, but <laughs> I like Keisha's better too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are looking fly up there, man. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, this has been fun, y'all. Um, yeah. We um, we've had a lot of fun playing Petty Tunes, obviously. The man's music has meant a ton to us. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us for another Tuesday celebrating uh, the life and music of Tom Petty. Would have been 70 years old. Um, man. All right. You guys ready? Ready, man. All right. Ready! I'm not. All right. All right, here we go. Well, I started out down a dirty road.
starting out all alone and the sun went down as I crossed the hill as the town lit up and the world got still I'm learning to fly but I ain't got wings coming down is the hardest thing for the good old Started out from God knows where. I guess I'll know when I get there. I'm learning to fly around the clouds. But what comes up must come down. Cheers, everybody. Happy birthday, Tom Petty. Happy, what week is it for us? 29. 29 weeks of the Good Time Supper Club. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for supporting Ooh. us. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. Birthday. Cheers, y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all.
Thanks for coming out. We're the Band of Heathens. What a place. This is our first time here. This is a classy joint, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 